Okay, my good friends, this is just in from James Webb Telescope. They're saturated with dust particles out here just everywhere, and they figured out a way to be able to see through them using the red red spectrum that can see through this stuff. But it's packed with dust, so they really can't see a whole lot. But guess what else they can't understand? What would that do to the red shift and the expansion of our universe? Well, let's think about it. Okay, we're saturated with dust and light particles everywhere. Light travels approximately, let's say, 300,000 kilometers a second in a vacuum, which there's no vacuum in space whatsoever. Vacuum Space is saturated with these exact particles that we have shown, and Don Lincoln calls them the quantum foam, and he says that empty space isn't empty. All of these little particles twinkle on and off. That's because every now and then they get, a com they get hit by another particle. That's why they twinkle on and off. It says they bubble a dizzying display of change. <laughs> they're all changing because they're all getting hit on and off, which means that the light that's hitting them is slowing down. That's the redshift. And I can show light slowing down. Here's light slowing down from a blue laser, coming in fast, slowing down. I can show light speeding up. Here it is right here, speeding up. You see it? It's coming in slow. Zip! And then it concussed here and it split and they give them fission and fusion. And, you know, nobody will listen to me and talk to me at Fermilab. These are the same two particles they found. We found them here too. It's time to start taking this stuff serious. I can show the neutrinos changing. That's a neutrino. That's part of light. Now it's a photon. Now it's a different type of neutrino. They know these change as they go, but, but that's because they're concussing and stacking up on themselves. That's what the different flavors are from. So I want to be involved in this discussion. I learned a place. These are the same particles. Same particles, and here they are in their neutrino flavors. No jokes here. And no little doodles. I'm not just drawing little doodles. I'm showing you what happened. And that is Exactly what they want to see at CERN and Fermi Lab is this right here. Sterile muon, the black ball, and electron showers, the white showers. We did it and we can do it all day long for almost nothing. So it's time to get a hold of me and here's how to do it. I need some, some thumbs up on my videos. We need to get it more accepted in the algorithm. This is where I can be reached, roger at mudfossils.com. Spread the word, and we are open discussion. It's welcome. It's not suppressed. We want to talk about these things. What, what am I doing wrong? What's the problem here? Why can't we use this to make free energy? Why can't we use it for something like this? This extreme amount of energy, which is extreme. And harvest it. It's in it's in electron form. It's not nothing even to change. We squirt that electrons into some kind of storage device in it, through a diode type deal where it can't get back out. Zip! Once it's in there, we use it for anything we want. Use some of it to run the laser to pump it up like this. That is extremely increased energy. Anytime you increase the luminosity, you have increased the energy. If somebody can argue with that, I'd love to hear them argue it. 